Okay, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to fit a connector to a cold water storage um, system. Um, what you've got to be careful with these are um, you don't pick up the wrong nut or the builder's merchant doesn't give you the wrong nut. As you can see, these two nuts, if you look closely, they've got two different threads. One's a fine thread and one's a standard three-quarter thread. So be very careful that you don't pick up the wrong nut when you're doing this. Right, the best thing to do is when you've got the nut, try it on the connector, make sure it screws right up, then you know you've got the right nut. It's so very easy to put the wrong one on, especially when it's on the tank. The wrong one, which I've got now, if you screw it on, you'll notice it go on two turns and it stop. And if you've got the olive on there, you think it's hit the olive, and then you wind it up with a spanner, and obviously it won't tighten up. Um, we're using poly washers on this, two three quarter poly washers. One goes on the inside against the back plate, and the other one I go on the outside of the tank, so it's sandwiching the tank between the two poly washers. Okay, now how you hold it, you can either use uh, water pump pliers or grips, and you tighten it up on the back nut on the outside. So I'm just showing you this without the tank in there because it's easier to see. Okay, now when you've got it tightened in, we pretend that's tightened on the tank. When you're doing the nut and olive up right now, you still need the um, the one spanner on the inside to hold against. Because otherwise, when you tighten the nut up on the nut and olive, like I'm doing now, it will unscrew through the connector and you will have a, a leak. Now you can hold it also with a file. So if you've got a big tank and you're by yourself, you can jam a flat, uh, a medium-sized flat file in there, and it will hold it really firmly. And then when you tighten up the nuts from the outside of the tank the file will jam against the side of the tank and you can tighten up without um, having two people and afterwards you just have to flick the file out and it will fall out so that's one tip there um, obviously I'm using a, um, an expansion tank here because I don't want to use a cold water storage tank but it's the same yeah, it's just easier to show you with this small tank than it is a big cold water storage tank ok so now we're going to fit it so we put one poly washer on the inside and I'm going to put a little bit of PTFE tape now this is just purely to lubricate the thread and just to give it a little tiny seal on the thread um, you see I'm only putting a little tiny bit on, you mustn't put too much on the reason I'm putting a bit on is when you cut the hole in the tank with the hole cut with the thread, uh, um, a circular hole saw uh, or uh, a cutter um, it's very tight fit, you see I'm having trouble screwing that through yeah? and that PTFE tape just helps it a bit screw it through the plastic yeah? that's good that it's a nice tight fit don't even consider about heating up a knife and cutting a hole or heating up a bit of pipe and pushing it through because it will chemically change the area of plastic around the hole and then uh, after a while you'll start to have a leak after a couple of months or, or a year or so so the other poly washer goes on the outside like you've just seen and you put the back nut up yeah, then you need either to use the file, which you can do here, you jam it in between the two lugs and it will hold it, or you use a pair of grips or water pump pliers. Okay, so adjust it to its smallest setting, grip it on the lugs. You can imagine if you've got a big tank, uh, you're going to need two of you, or you need someone uh, with very long arms, or you use the file, like I said, and let it jam it in and it will jam against the side of the tank. Okay, so you hold that and then you tighten up the outside so it's reasonably tight and the two poly washers course are sealed. The PTFE tape is just purely there um, not, as a, not necessarily as a sealant although it will seal it between the tank and the, and the, and the thread um, if water does get past the first poly washer which it, which it won't so it's just purely there to help lubricate it a bit. That's a good thing about PTFE tape it's also good as a lubricant on threads so now make sure you get your right nut. It's not that one, it's this one. Well, I can tell them by sight, but if you're new, just wind it up again and check. Put your olive on, make sure your olive's on far enough um, that it's not standing on the end of the pipe, because you don't want to crush it on the end of the pipe, you'll have a leak. So it's got to be over the pipe. Push it into the uh, connector. Screw up your nut, nut and olive. Get your spanner on the inside to hold against, because if you don't, you'll loosen up the tank connector again, what you just tightened up by tightening the nut and olive up. It will actually turn and then you'll have a leak again. Yes, yeah, so that's important with both nuts, the back nut and the nut and olive to hold against. Yeah, now use a, a spanner on, on, on these nuts if you can. It just doesn't mark it as much. 
Yeah, so it's good to have a nice big adjustable spanner. So grip it tightly on the inside and then you just tighten up. You don't need much. That's it, done. Okay, and never put PTFE tape on an olive. You don't need PTFE tapes on olives.